One thing that's gonna help my car look a little better is to change these headlights. Do need to kind of change them because this one right here is broken. Um, but yeah, I bought some aftermarket clear headlights. So this should look a lot better. Um, one thing I noticed is that the quality of the OEM, I don't know, I don't know how, how you can really tell like this, but it feels a lot more sturdier and not as like cheap feeling as these replicas. Here's the parts from Depot, Depot. Uh, it's pretty well known. This also should be a pretty straightforward install. Um, I think you just take this off by doing that. And then undoing the main harness and then four eight millimeter bolts. I think that's it. All the bolts are off. Now I think I just push it through. Get it out somehow. There we go. Uh, it's pretty dirty, so on both sides, I'll probably clean it before I put it back on. Okay, now they're all pretty much clean. Not super clean, but it's gonna get dirty again, so I don't really care. Here are the lights. Well, side by side. I definitely like the clear ones better. Let's see on the back. Connectors look relatively the same. This one is, they both have two less prongs or one less. This one has all. Yeah, those must just be for some different lights that, that I don't have, but for the most part, let's just try to swap the bulbs and then be done. To do that, just twist it, get out, put in the next one. Now that I think about it, I think I might need to get amber bulbs. Hmm, whatever. Okay, all the light bulbs are switched over. This one was kind of hard, so I didn't even use like pliers to twist it in. But luckily, this thing, new ones come with new gaskets. Um, and so I just gotta plug it in and see if they all work. Okay, they're in just by hold, held in by two bolts. I'm just gonna see if the lights work right now. All right, after a lot of trial and error, I got all the lights to work. Basically, each of these lights have like two or three metal uh, contacts that they need to hit. So with the ones that weren't really contacting, I just got a screwdriver, and then I just kind of scraped at the metal contacts so that it had, I guess, better contact. All right, everything's back together. Definitely looks a lot better, it's cleaner. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is get clear corners these as well as these side pieces right here. Just waiting on those to come in. Another thing to do is try to restore the leather um, with BMWs, obviously with this much age. Uh, the leather starts to get kind of hard and cracks and that's mainly what contributes to rips. I'm gonna be using this leather honey. I just looked up on Amazon what's the best leather conditioner and this is apparently it. The video said to clean the seats or clean the leather and then mix this with uh, some water, but on the directions, it just says apply a small amount to a lint-free application cloth and then just coat it, coat the leather. So I already cleaned it. I'm just gonna add some of this and see what happens. I'll probably start with the back seats first, just in case it's like stupid. I'm just gonna add some, see how it goes. Hopefully that's enough or not too much. Honestly, probably need to add more. <laughs> it also said that it's not toxic so I could use my hand, so I think I might do that just to see how it goes.
I don't know about this. If this is even the right way to apply this stuff. All right, well, I got a little carried away with it and I just did it everywhere in a good amount. It says to leave it for around two hours, preferably overnight. I don't think I'm gonna be driving anywhere soon, so. Afterwards, I just have to wipe it. I think we're good. Hopefully this does something, because I don't really know if it'll do anything. Right now I got my corner lights and the side marker lights. So let's put those on. For the side marker lights, apparently just push it in and then pull it out from the back. The ones over here, for the corner light, I think there's a little tab, plastic tab down there that you can push out and then this corner light will pop out. Cool thing is that the new ones came with a bulb too that's already amber, so I don't have to buy that, so that's good. Cool. Here's the old one. And then here's the new one. There it is. All cleared. Good thing I'm replacing this one, actually I didn't realize it was cracked. Uh, but now, car is all clear. Cosmetically, I do want to add like little trunk lip spoiler. I also want to add a front lip to the stock uh, E36 bumper. So I think once that is done, uh, the car will look pretty good. Um, obviously the, the wheels are kind of lame, but it's good tires on them, so I don't want to change them. Um, but exterior wise, that might be it. Maybe I'll try to fix the paint on the roof, but that never works out really good. <laughs> 